Instead of talking about setups today, I'm actually going to talk a little bit about price feeds. I normally use Zenfire with uh, Ninja Trader, and I decided to, when I got the Jigsaw tools, that I'd try S5 Trader, loaded them up, and um, you can see on my, my videos from the past couple days that there's some interesting th things that happen on CL. It's a low liquidity contract. I'll, I'll get things like what's happening right here, where all of a sudden the order book on one side is completely gone. Or if you look in my uh, in my tape, as the big orders come through or any any of the orders come through, you'll see a lot of white lines. Those white lines represent trades that happen between the bid and the ask. And you know the you know when I asked the jigsaw guys about this, they said, well, it's very data provider dependent. So I thought, well, hmm, maybe there's an issue with the S5 data feed. And maybe I'll, I'll try it out on Ninja. So when I load it up on Ninja, you can see very clearly the difference. At the top left is Ninja, bottom right is S5. You can see the order book is much deeper on Ninja at pretty much all the time. I've, I haven't seen it kind of blip out the way it does quite often on S5. You know, so right there. And I, I, these things are mostly in sync. You know, I realize that they might be t just a tiny bit out of sync, but for the most part, they're in sync. Uh, together in terms of the time of day and and the price action going on, and you, you'll see you know a whole bunch more like right there you got a whole bunch of white prints coming through. You had green prints up on the Ninja Trader feed side, so it became you know pretty obvious and clear that the data feed you know the Zenfire data feed is a superior feed at least for the Jigsaw tools. I mean I'm not talking about this overall. Um, the uh, you know the, the S5 Trader might be a, a fantastic platform, might have a great data feed, but from the Jigsaw Tools perspective, either there's something going on with the tools and their integration with S5, or there's something going on with with the S5 data feed. Um, of course, I didn't see this with ES a lot. You, you know, it looks you know the book looks pretty deep with ES, but you see it a lot on again something low liquidity like um, like like uh, oil. So I thought it was just an interesting thing to note, interesting thing to see. I'm going to start using my Ninja Trader setup more than my S5. Uh, just because, in, you know, as I start to go live or I look to go live, I'm going to be going live on Ninja Trader and, and not S5 at this point going forward.